Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking Orfer. No, you're thinking Vinny. These Red Dead streams have been going on for so long. When are you going to be done? Now, I want you to have fat faith. <laughs> I want you to have faith, chat. I have a plan. Have, have faith, please. Just a little bit of faith. Okay, so Arthur's a little hungry. You know as well as I do, though, I don't like to feed my Arthur. Chocolate bar restores stamina. Come on, girl. Is there bingo? Yeah, it's bit.ly slash cow bingo. And uh, last time I streamed this, I did make some decent progress. Um, there are a couple missions I don't really feel like doing, like the mayor and, you know, Penelope Braithwaite. There's just too many goddamn missions in this game. So, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. I'm just going to go yeah. to the uh, yellow missions for now, and maybe I'll get distracted on the way. Let's go see Josiah. Vinny, did you talk about EA's stocks? I didn't know about EA's stocks. I mean, if you know if you know me well enough. They lost 21 billion dollars. Oh. Um, if you know me well enough, you kind of have an idea of what I would say to that, which is if you treat your customers like shit and you start losing money. Don't do the Pikachu face. Yep. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. There there are a lot of companies that are happening right now in the AAA publishing field that uh, see dollar signs and not, you know, people, and they're getting shit on. They're getting shit on pretty hard. Yeah. So maybe it's a good time, you know, to see that kind of happen, and maybe people will take stock, and, and they'll be like, you know what, maybe we shouldn't treat our customers like cash cows and try to just release good games and not try to take advantage of them. Oh, fuck. Easy. Avoid leading them to the hideout. doing Arthur Okay Let me just do a little bit of looting Oh, it's these guys. They don't have anything. These guys suck.
I mean, they do have cocaine. Not really much of a surprise. Yep. Some Jolly Jacks. All right, yep. fair enough. I'll take it. He, he, yep. Fucking King DDD. They were really close to the camp, but I'm assuming they would just get shot up if they got any closer. Ah, hello. Mm -hmm. I um, I was uh, leaving again. Yes, oh. just mm -hmm. leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Well, oh, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Okay, mission over. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present. It'll turn into shooting. Their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got- I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, so let's uh, hire a dying cowboy with an itchy trigger finger. And a penchant for throwing dynamite at innocents. That's the guy that you want for peace negotiations, definitely. You know, they're doing the negotiations, Arthur just has a coughing fit. Oh, oh fuck, I just- I just gave everybody TB, fuck! Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Wish the game could be louder. That, that should be a bingo space. Involved? Now Eagle flies is under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld. How can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? We need to buy horse Maybe supplies. That's part of the reason they're doing these things. This poor horse has been eating like oregano. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. 
I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. I like how some of the people that have missions, you know, their names come up, like Josiah Trelawney. And then it's just like, oh yeah, no, sorry, not you. No, we're doing a mission with someone else. You, you can, you can just go away. Like the Reverend. Poor son of a bitch. And then the few times that he does pop up, and you get to talk to him, immediately, and someone else interrupts. Dutch is like, Arthur? Someone linked me to, uh, something I'll show you eventually, but it's... Apparently there's like a neural network that can are. update Where textures from old bed? games. Hello. All. It, it is far from perfect, but some of it looked pretty good. Excuse me. This way. Why are you doing this? What was it called? I don't know. I only saw it for like a, a, a second. Maybe someone in chat has more information. There you go. Sphinx just posted a link. So they did it for Morrowind. There's an Ocarina of Time thing. I'll show you... I'll show you a screenshot. That might... You ain't allowed to be there. Move along. Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Um, <coughs> Chief. Don't cough, Arthur. Uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're a gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Yeah. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... quite a cough. The federal government sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. Damn it. No, no. Jacket. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or... Attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? He seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he has something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. <laughs> he thinks Monroe I didn't steal them. is going to force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. Removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. Hightail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kind of liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Your men 
I was gonna get up. I just wanted to hear the conversation. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. The lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Well, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me. Gross insubordination. Come on, police. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right. Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall. You won't get away with this. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. Time to get out of here. Come on. Don't be dumb. Well, I'll kill you. Good peace treaty. I'm beginning to think that those guys are jerks. Sorry, you wanted me to hold my fire? <laughs> oh no, they want it hold their fire. Be just fine. Be fine. What's our plan here? You'll be fine. Usually turns into a shootout. This wasn't much of a prediction. Where did I go wrong? This gun is filthy. Hop on, Captain. We sure as hell don't want to hang around here. Yeah, I definitely like the music. Trumpet music is good. I haven't heard this music yet. Everybody okay? 
okay? Not really. What do we do now? You get well, you're an outlaw now. You want some beans? Just get used to eating lots of beans. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Horse is dirty. Guess Board. I won't be submitting my report. I'll... Have you submitted your... So. something report to the administrator today? Well, no, TPS, that's, uh, that's, that's office space. <clears throat> Status report. Thank you. <coughs> Get out of here, Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, <laughs> jump on a boat, we'll avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Oh. Charles is a ventriloquist. Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Huh. Brother Dawkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> feel bad for the voice actor. Arthur's voice actor. Jesus. What's wrong? I'm, uh... uh I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating the man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. <sighs> I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> You don't know me. <laughs> Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet you, you're always helping people and smiling. <sighs> I had a son. I had a daughter. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy, well, I watched him die, and it weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain, but there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. Sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> but I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often neither do I. <laughs> but then I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. Oh, shit. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall oh. try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Sister. 
Man, that was some heavy shit. Yeah, that was a pretty, um, interesting... It was a pretty interesting breakthrough for Arthur, him just saying he was afraid like that. Really hasn't shown a lot of weakness. Doubt, yes. Self-awareness, yes. But that was a little intense. Let's go see... Sadie. Sexy Sadie. What have you done? Actually, Load up. what did I do? I think I took a screenshot. I'm probably, knowing me, I'll take an hour long video by accident. Um, what I want to do is go to a fence, sell some stuff, buy some dynamite. You never know when dynamite's going to come in handy. Do a good deed, Mr. Morgan. I'm like, sure. Remember you. Passed through here some time ago, huh? Someone said don't sell your gold bars. I, I don't know what that means. And then other people were saying it's japes. Don't, but that's a spoiler. I'm gonna take the- you know what? I have enough money that I'm going to take the risk, and I'm not going to sell... ...the gold bars. Whatever it is, I don't want to be spoiled. Piece of a meteoroid can be sold. Sure. How do they know it's a meteoroid? Mister, that's just a wrap! No, this is from space. What do you mean, space? Hmm. Been a while since we through here. Alright, take a look. Gentle with that. Trust me. Just gonna need all of that dynamite. I'm gonna need uh, some tomahawks. Like it was a nut. I need a nut. Uh, like beans, spurs, campers, cleaver. Psycho mask. Nice. Incendiary buckshot. Special horse reviver. Oh, that's what I, I need. A fucking horse reviver. I just hope nobody's missing this too much. Okay. Keep this <laughs> between us, man. Don't you? Wait a minute. No. No, no, you don't wear that now. Okay, uh... Where am I going? Sadie. Again, I would like to buy some horse food, but I'm gonna just... ...go to Sadie, and eventually... Oh, hell. 
Arthur Morgan, destroyer of all fences. Gavin! Hey, Kella, you seen a dog around? She went and got herself lost. Poor thing's been gone for hours. Any chance you could help me find her, please? Yeah, sure, I'll keep a lookout. Thanks a ton, mister. Uh, I know it's a lot to ask, in your condition and all. Okay. Is that obvious? She's a big yellow dog. I'll be under that big tree near the edge of town if you find her. Thanks for this. If you hear any woofing, oh, her, her woof, bark, barf. Oh, there you are. Follow me, girl. Come on. Come here. Get real close to Uncle Arthur. Just let them out. Oh, you're a friendly dog, huh? I'm what you'd call an an agent of chaos. That's my Joker impression. Ten years ago, that was all the rage. Everybody had a Joker impression. That was my agent of chaos. That Halloween, everyone was Joker. I remember going to a bar, and this dude I haven't seen in ten years started doing a Joker impression. And then, like, three other people joined in. You wanna know how I got these scars? No, 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 good dog. Good, good puppy. Good puppy. Good dog. Good. No, good. That's alright. No. Vinny gets sidetracked. Oh, we're still following? Okay, I, th I thought the dog stopped following me. This is the most important mission in this game. Say dumb dog. You don't get hit right now. I swear I'll stomp on your paws. Hey, where are you going? Get back here, damn it! Dog don't like you much, huh? Just oh, oh, man. You get back here! Don't make me chase you! I, I guess the mission's over. Oh, damn you then! Run to Mexico for all I care, dumb mutt! Stop! <laughs> that 
Let's go, girl. Yeah. Hmm. What should I do? It's actually not letting me lasso. Relax. Hey. Okay. See, I can't lock on to him. I can't kill him. Please don't. This is fucking weird. Even though we're not in a quest anymore. Oh, that's why. Okay. I thought he was, like, a young man. Apparently, he's a child. Yep. Finally unlocked drifting. Good. Having a good time with Red Dead today. Lots being accomplished, lots of story missions. Am I really, like, almost out of ammo? This is really weird. Hang on a minute. 18. Oh, I only have 18. How the fuck did that happen? Okay. Well, I have high velocity bullets. That's fine. The Mauser does chew through ammo, though. Storyline. Video was inspired by your Slay the Spire stream yesterday. My Slay the, Slay the Spire run yesterday and did a claw run. It was mental. Three all for ones. Here's a seed for everybody. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Oh, glad you had a good time. The claw is very important. What the hell is this place? Warm a rum. Can't carry anymore. Someone just up and left, maybe? An old derelict shitty. Shitty place, but there's there's dog Bert. There's a doggo somewhere. Doesn't look like anyone still lives here. Safe hiding spot. There's so much snake oil in this game. So many people are getting swindled. Oh, 
Kind of reminds me of something in Hobbiton. <laughs> Go do good deeds, mister. Okay. I'll do good deeds. I'm just gonna rob someone's house real quick. And then try to kill a child who treated a dog poorly. Well, that's a good deed. Far Cry Tower. I watched like a, a video recap of some of the events of Red Dead 1 just to get a reminder because I don't remember a lot of the game. I've never heard Arthur go that mental about that before. Real good girl! Um, and John sounds a little different in some of the cutscenes in Red Dead 1 than he does in 2. I mean, it's been eight years, and so does Dutch. But, even though there's like a stylization of the characters in this game, to some extent, some of the characters in Red Dead 1 look very cartoony, and I don't mean that like, you know, it's probably the wrong word, but like, they're extremely stylized compared to this game. They're like... Yeah, potatoes. Lots of potato people. Yep. I mean, the technology, obviously, is the difference. The thing is, I didn't remember. Like, in my mind, Red Dead 1 looked gorgeous. It was amazing. And it still looks pretty good for what it is, definitely. But going back after this and taking a look at Red Dead 1, it was, it was kind of a shock. No, you're not. You want a boat ride? How did this guy survive that? Neck. Look at the terse neck meat. Uh, I think the person that they kidnapped is now dead. Oh. Yeah, there's a there, there's some uh, ghouls in here. Do good deeds, Mr. Morgan. I'll just rob these nice people for 42 cents. Just having a nice day. Going for a little boat ride. Sink the boat by shooting the bottom. Really? You can do that? I don't know if I was deep enough for that to work, and or I need a shotgun to do so. Listen, I'm gonna give him a viking funeral. Shit. I'm 
I'm wasting a lot of fire bottles. The problem is this this water is too shallow. So like it's yeah, it's sinking, but there's like a ground right below it. So the crime will always be you know, this won't be a perfect crime. Someone's going to come by and find it. And fingerprints aren't a thing, so I will not be blamed for it. So I've learned something today. Like, Arthur, if you rearrange the letters, you can almost get father. And he said he was a father at one point. Vinny, the Mauser's gone. This one? Hey, Bill. Can you watch my horse real quick? Sadie. What have you done? You Made okay? a fool of everyone. Oh. Peach. You sure? No, I ain't sure. You still working? Is anybody still working? The whole goddamn place full of people bickering, <coughs> fighting, and lying. Makes me real sad. I know. I need someone to ride with me. Do what? Finish off them of Driscoll's. I hear the last of them is holed up at Hanging Dog Ranch. I don't have it in me no more. One so more score, thing. Arthur. I just don't care. I was a married woman. You know what they did to me and to my husband? You're the only one of these fools that I trust. I've got to do this. Yeah. I'll tell you what. I'll do it. But there's something you could help me with. Abigail. Jack. John. Make sure they make it. I mean, this whole thing is pretty much done. But when the time comes... But how do you mean? When the time comes, you help them. What do you mean? I mean, help them escape when I... You know, you and me... We're more ghosts than people. But them... They... They could... I know. Of course I will. Thank you, Arthur. You want to ride with me now, or... Meet me up at Hanging Dog Ranch when you can. Fuck it, do it now. Thanks, Arthur. Okay, come on. Sadie's a pretty, uh, pretty legit person. I don't want to spoil Red Dead 1, uh, but I'm going to talk about it a little bit, so this could be a spoiler. If you've never played Red Dead 1, unmute in one minute. Nothing crazy, but mute now. People get pissed about this kind of thing, so whatever. Okay, I'll give you a spoiler warning. A 10-year-old game. Uh, 8-year-old game. But knowing that, you know, Arthur wants to save 
uh, John's family, Jack, for Abigail, <laughs> and knowing right. how things go down. You seen anything I wonder down if there? Jack ends up getting yeah, that I think corrupted. There's a bunch of them down there. I'm mostly drunk. For one of them, it's a fat fellow with a beard. Him? You know, because of He's what mad. happens. Okay. It's a big ranch. Run down. Lots of folk there. But spread pretty thin. I'll set oh, it it's up. the Litchfield. We'll, we'll take it from there. Take yeah, that's it. I was just kind of okay. making a supposition about uh, Jack. No real plan then. Oh, I've been here already. I killed everyone. Now come on. Is that a woman? Jesus. Who the hell is that lady? That's the Hellcat saw Cole swing. Count. <laughs> Good plan, Sadie. fuck was I hitting? See that? What is that? What? Okay, Sadie, I wish we had a little bit more warning here. These fences are not good cover. Oh yeah, is there? She's getting a little too into this. Come on. And again, I guess that's kind of the point, so... Fucking Oberyn Martell moment going on here. You killed her. Okay. You take the barn. I'll take the farm. Now remember, if he's mad, he's got a beard. He's mine. I'll try. I'll try. Holy fuck!
Oh. You okay? Yeah. He was a good man, my Jakey. We was always sweet on one another. I'm sure. Yeah. I miss him every day, every moment. Oh, they turned me into a monster, Arthur. But my memories of him, they still pure. I ain't even got that. Aside from my Jake, you're the best man I've known. I know the company you keep. The competition ain't too fierce. <laughs> we, uh... We should get away from her. I like the vulnerability. I think I need to be alone for a bit. I understand. You, uh, might want to get yourself cleaned up. Thank you, Arthur. Just so fucked up. No, I mean, it's, it's good. The characters are really three-dimensional. It's, you know, for both Arthur and Sadie. It's like, Jesus. You, you just got done doing all this shit. And then there's that conversation. God damn. <sighs> there are members of chat being wise guys. Funny lads. And they're saying, um, this, this is a 3D game, Vinny. And they're not sprites. Pucksters. What? Crime reported? What do you, what do you mean, crime reported? What are, what are you talking about? I killed a watermelon! Vinny, that melon had a family. I guess so! Yeah. Yep. Listen, the law is gonna be fine with this. This is one of those things where they're just gonna be like, what a terrible shame that the O'Driscolls have died. Each and every one of them. Whatever will we do? And then they'll go back and play poker. <laughs> Vinny, you just killed the internet's busiest music nerd. That watermelon had the best goddamn teeth I've ever seen. Best teeth in the business. In the game. Sorry, see, you know, I'm, I'm a Fairweather fan. <laughs> Mauser Chan will remain dirty forever. Are you calling my guns Mauser Chan? This is why streaming was a terrible mistake. I'm gonna petition that we shut down Twitch. Oh, shit. Sorry. 
Just sucks. calm down. I was busy looking at the thing. There was an animal. It was like an animal attack. If I start shooting, it's over for you. You all right, girl? Guess you're just going to abandon your horse then. a little bit of brain damage. You know, from the spill. There we go. Die! Now stay there! When it's my turn, you're gonna wish I only tied you up. Help! Help! Fuck! Nice hat. Is he okay? Kind of hoping he was gonna roll down the mountain. I wanted to see him, like, roll down this way. I think he's dead. Strongest limbs in the West. Idiot. There's two schools of thought that I noticed in chat. Well, three. Three. First is, Vinny, stop. You're fucking sick. And you should just stop that, because that's disgusting. Then, there was school of thought number two, which was, Vinny, stop. You're wasting ammo. That was a comment I saw. Even though I have 300 ammo, about. Oh, two, over 250. Is. Strong up, Christ! Oh, mister, you lay with Bertha, too? And then the last school of thought was, yeah, get him. You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go. Hey, why the hurry, partner? <laughs> I got a hot tail. No need for that. Lord, save me! Okay then, girl. Okay then, girl. I keep hoping that at some point I'm gonna crash my horse into the other horse. And it's gonna glitch out harder than anything's ever glitched out in this video game. Those are dreams. Uh, yeah, maybe they'll fuse, maybe something fucking wacky will happen. I've seen some videos, this game has some pro- like, grade A high quality glitches. We got a couple of them. But, I mean, the clip that I have, that has the most views, is... Which one was it? It was, um... Me punching the naked fucking werewolf man. And then the, the fucking system freezes. I'm like, is that a cock? Yep, yeah, that's a cock. Punch him, and then... Crash. That's not much of a glitch, that's just a crash.
Sony would like to inform you that we've restricted access to your PlayStation 4. You can never play games again. Thank you. Have a nice day. Dick. That would be bad business, but it would be so wonderful if that was how they banned people. Like they just brick your PS4. You fucked up so hard that we won't even let you buy our games anymore. We don't want your money, fuck you. Um, I hate to bring too much drama up on stream, but YouTube has done another thing that I found very interesting. There is some channel, The Rat Man or something, who uh, did a song that had millions and millions of views. And then he found out that he got copyright claimed for his own song. So he tried to trace it down. It was like some copyright troll. They did a remix of the song, put it on SoundCloud, and said it was their own. Welcome back. Issued a... What were you looking for today? They issued a Apparently, copyright notice so that they could take the revenue from the video. Apparently, one of the outlaws was shooting from the lighthouse. Right? Got the revenue from the video. He disputed the claim, which was then promptly shut down. So now, they own the revenue. And here's the problem. If you dispute a claim on YouTube... If you dispute a claim on YouTube... They can say, no. You're incorrect. You're wrong. And if you try to dispute that again... They can strike your channel. Which means, you know, three strikes and then you lose your channel. So that's how the copyright system works on YouTube. And people are upset about this, everyone's complaining. Um... But... I don't know if anything's going to get done. Now, I'm telling you this because this is part of what I do. And losing revenue is one thing. It sucks. My videos don't do nearly as well as that dude, who probably makes a living off of his, his music career, which I think that's fine. That's your hustle. Thank you for taking a shit at that exact moment, Port. I think that's fine, and I, you know, I wish him luck, and I'm, I'm happy if anyone can find a way to make it work for them. That's fucking awesome. It's a shame... I mean, it's, it's enough of a shame... Oh, that's far away. Um, it's enough of a shame when people can't view your video, but then the threat of a strike because you want to dispute a copyright troll. That's- that's fucked up. Like, the fact that, that someone could just take the thing that you own, and then put it in the system as their own, and not get caught. And the video is really good. I don't remember the guy's channel. I'm sure you could find it. It's probably all over the fucking place right now. This has got to be something that you can find very easily if you just do the proper Google. Whoa, that dude slid. Um... Yeah, just really, really incredibly terrible tools given to creators to defend themselves against trolls. And people's careers could get destroyed. Yep. And I know the argument is YouTube's not a real career, get a job. But I have to ask you a question. If you say something like that, fair enough, you're not... It's, it's a different type of job, sure. But to continue to be successful, it takes work. But I always say, it's like this, if you were offered $20,000, would you turn it down because you want to, you know, like have the upper ground, the high ground, or because you're, you're too, you know, like, no, I wouldn't do that. If you were offered a YouTube career where you could do that instead, I mean, you know, would you turn it down? That's a tough thing to turn down. That's, that's like the fucking golden ticket in a lot of ways. And YouTube is not where it was years ago. YouTube is definitely a lot harder to make a living on because of this shit, because of the the industry, the music industry, blah, blah, blah. So I would always say at this at this point in time, 10, 12 years on, it's almost an unattainable goal. 
so I can't recommend it. But for someone who's established... ...and someone who, um... ...someone who's actually trying to... ...build a career through it... ...it's fucked up. And again, legally... There needs to be something, like, I mean, is this dude gonna get a lawyer? The worst part is, he doesn't even know who to really, I think, from the video, I think it was something like, he couldn't even find the source of the SoundCloud. He couldn't even find, like, the company that copy, uh, copyright claimed it. They were just hiding. So, it's something weird like that, to the point where I'm just like, well, what the fuck are you supposed to do, just let them have it? So, if YouTube is- is to remain... A, like, a, a tool for people to actually... You know, have a career, or to even just put up their music... Without fear of someone stealing it... There needs to be some, like, defined boundaries. There needs to be a way for people to fight back legally. I don't even know if you could get a lawyer involved with something like that. It's really fucking... It's really fucking crazy. So, anyway, this is just me venting based on something I read. I didn't watch all of the dude's video. And, uh, I may have some details wrong, and I apologize for that. I'll have to do some further research. But, uh... Holy shit. Filing false DMCA claims is illegal and can cause substantial prison time, so he can easily get that person who copyrighted it in jail. That's good. I hope that's the case. I hope he can find him. I hope there's a way that you can actually, like... I hope there's a way you can, um, find that person. It's a meteor strike? <laughs> Vinny, there's a low chance of that happening. Yeah, that was some of the stuff that I, uh, that I read. Like, there's a chance that he may never even be able to find the person who did this. And the chances of YouTube helping are very, very low. Um, one of my, um... ...acquaintances, who I would- I would say is a friend at this point, because I've seen him at conventions. He's a really great dude, I like him a lot. Mountain Dew? Mountain Dew? He... ...has had his channel completely demonetized... ...twice now. And the only way he was able to get any help the first time was if he made a big stink about it on Twitter. And he got a lot of his people, like, his creator friends to help him. I retweeted it, a bunch of people retweeted it, and then finally Team YouTube was like, Oh, we'll take care of this. This was incorrect. It won't happen again. And then it just happened again recently. And they had- he had to do the same thing. Like, how can you- how can you be this out of touch? How could you be this, like, incompetent YouTube? Yeah. Okay, Vinny's complaining hour is over. Let's talk about positive things now. Like what? Yeah, I can't find anything. Uh, hang on a minute. Um... Let's see. Hmm. Well, Christmas is in a couple day days. It's not a very high point for me. Um, what about, um... There, um... How about those screens that can fold? Vinny, I got nice Bluetooth headphones. They're cool. I'm- I'm glad. What is one piece of technology that could make my life easier, chat? That aren't Bluetooth speakers or headphones.
a gun. Okay. Fleshlight, Hitachi, magic wand, a gun. You guys are very predictable. <laughs> then again, so am I. A new GPU. I kind of, I'm still getting some pretty good juice out of my old GPU. This is a long way off. I shouldn't be straying too far from the road. Yep. How about a fast travel system in Red Dead? A record player. Oh man. You know what? That is something I would like. Don't have room for it. Can't think of where to put it. I mean, we say technology. It wouldn't exactly make my life easier. It would just allow me to play my records. How about a very small piece of technology? Easy. A record deal? Play a record Carl. A pen? There, girl. Alright. A smaller gun. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I see, I have to not laugh at things like that, because it gives you... It emboldens you. It embiggens you. Well, I got the Red Vox guitar picks. And they're kind of cool. The problem is... The printing... Like, scrapes off kind of easily. Not too easily. But it definitely wears down. Like, in, in the bag of the guitar picks, there was a, uh... Like, I, I reached my hand in, and I pulled it out, and there was, like, red and black crust that was just on my hand. I was like, oh, that's the ink. It's the printing technique, because they're, uh... You know, the picks are a certain type of material, so they... You can't, like, embed the ink in the picks. They have to, like, print on top of it. And it seems like it's on pretty okay, but I, I can imagine with some extended use, it'll... It'll wear off. Good girl. They can't laser it in? No, the company that I, I went didn't have a um, laser engraving. That I went with. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Pushes me. The chief, he's uh, he's very. Maybe you could speak to him. Yes, yes. Why well, can't? He's in his tent. Joe, I'll wait for you here. Go. Come in. Just don't breathe on me. Mr. Morgan, I'm so glad you could make it. How are you? My son. My son is foolish, but he's still my son. I know your son. A little. Yeah. He's very brave. Very angry. Very orange. He's me. How is your father? He's dead a long time. I lived a lot longer than was good for any of us. My son probably wishes the same to me. <laughs> I doubt that. I want peace. I need my people to be safe. All my life I've tried to bring peace. But I love my son. They'll hang him for treason. Treason. He is the chief son of a proud nation. How could he commit treason? People who have lied to my people for a hundred years or more, that's treason. Well. 
What should I do? I don't think there's much chance reasoning with Colonel Favors. No. And any chance we had, your friend, Mr. Vanderland, has ensured relations between us and the Army are worse than any point in the last five years. I'm sure he means well. But matters are more complex than he understands. Me and Charles will try and rescue your son. No. Yes. 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 I ain't got much to lose, and you got... I'm doing this. Charles! Where are you? Come on, let's go. We need to get his son back, of course. I just ain't sure how. I've been working on that. I think there's a way. Follow me. I would imagine, uh... A shootout? Yeah, someone in chat just said a shootout is probably how it happens. I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. Okay, girl. It's a good thing I actually like the shooting in this game. I've heard that, you know, I've heard the criticisms about the shooting, as I've mentioned previously, but I like it. I also just like the weapons the in 1899, and like in a lot. Out, but so if we can get the horses across the river. I found a route that should get us in fairly close. If we wait until late enough, there's a place we should be able to sneak in around the back. Okay, whatever you think. And again, it's it's controller shooting, so you know you have to kind of adjust your expectations until the PC version comes out. Okay. I left two canoes down river in case we need another way out of there. Okay, good. Chat, I looked away for a second. Did Charles teleport? He didn't, right? Okay, never mind. You know, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for Dutch. It ain't just on Dutch. We all went along with it. He saw eagle flies burn hot, and he fanned the flames. He's not helping that tribe, he's helping himself. You see that, it or you wouldn't have does. gone to Rain's fall behind his back. I guess I just keep thinking. There must be a way to save the situation. To pull Dutch out of the place he's in. Well, I like Rain's fall. I don't know, Arthur. Rain's fall is in a tough situation. And as for Dutch... <sighs> I gotta try. I own that, at least. You feel that? There's rain on the wind. I know. Listen, Charles. If Careful. it goes bad in there, you get yourself out. You got more to lose. No. Come on. Don't start talking like that. Uh, I didn't tell you before, but... Something up. It's pretty bad. It's gonna get worse. Oh, Arthur. Any day we can die, hmm? We're riding to break an Indian chief's son out of a cavalry fort. We could both die tonight. In a way, it is a gift to know. In a way, you are lucky. You don't feel like that. Whoa, Jesus, that's bright. still have time to make amends. The others, Hosea, Lenny, Sean, all of them, they didn't. And what about the calendar boys? Both killed trying to escape Blackwater? A more vicious pair of bastards than ever was. And that's all they ever were and will be. Maybe. You're lucky. You got the chance to... to do something better. My guess is maybe that's why you're here now. Either way, just keep your head strong. We're close now. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. That current's strong. Up here. Follow me. Uh, you were right about the damn rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
but might help us with sneaking in there. The Rainsfall told me there was some retaliation after the meeting with Colonel Favors. Some women were taken. Elders beaten. Bastards. Yeah. This isn't gonna be nice. There it is. Oh, is this the, um... Yep, this fucking place. I've been looking at this place on the map since I started playing this fucking game, and I was like, when? That's endgame content. Probably shouldn't wear this miner hat if I'm gonna go in stealthily. Right? What do you want? What do you want from me, Charles? Come on! Alright. You ready? Yes. Keep uh, it depends on what you mean by ready. Looks like a jab for the hair. Patrol group. Hopefully we'll be in and out before they can come back around. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. We're just gonna get these express bullets. And the pistols, I'm just preparing. There's gonna be the lich field, which I want express. Or maybe high velocity, I have more ammo for that. There's two guards out front. If you take one, I'll take the other. Nice and quiet. Okay, come on. Let's see if we can get around the back. Stick to the wall. There's a guard right above us. There's a guard. Right above us, Arthur. Okay, let's go. Okay, come on. Phantom pain flashbacks. Thank God for the rain. This is the spot. What about, like, if you dig from the outside in? Probably make that work, right? Take a while. Shh. Guard up ahead. Have you got a shot on him? Okay. Quick, this way. Oh, I got this. 
Wait, do I have a homing tomahawk? Hmm, I don't think I made a homing. I can, they exist. <laughs> Which is just the most amazing concept. You got this one? No need to waste an arrow on him. Use your knife. Sure. <laughs> Another two ahead. One each. Same as before. Good work. Come on. Took Arthur that long to grab that apple. Cells should be just down this way. Charles is so smart. Silently. Let's go. Let's go, Arthur. Come on. Get down here. Ah. Oh, quickly. The cells are just in here. Look for the keys. You have to get me out of here. We're going to get you out. This dude has the keys. You search the body. God. Arthur, is that you in a hog mask? Come on. Your father sent us. My father. He told you to come and kill guards? No, he didn't say that. He... Of course not. You okay? Sure. Enjoy being tortured. Clears the mind. <laughs> if you say so. Huh, whoa, no. whoa. Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. <sighs> Damn it! No, I got this, bro. I think I killed an innocent. You killed a hort? Oh, fuck. 
Sorry, horse. You know I know how. It worked! Come on! Come on, girl. Where'd my whoa, whoa, where's the hog? We always end up leaving the horses behind. So many terrible things could happen to them. Ah, look out! We got more on our tail. More of them coming from the road on the left. Ahead of us! Down this way! Come on! Not yet. Not yet. Why did it explode? Oh, I hit the lantern. Nice. the rifle while in the canoe. Mauser is, is just amazing. What a pistol. I'm going for lanterns. It's not really happening. Sorry, horse. I 
I got a hat shot? Well, that's bingo. For some of you. Now, let's see if I remember that when we check the bingo card later. Ah, man, I want to kill the horses. Yes, it stayed on. The masks are not supposed to stay on during cutscenes. This is glorious. Come on. <coughs> you okay, Arthur? Yeah, I'm right as rain. How are you? <clears throat> I'll be fine in a day or so. I heal fast. Colonel Favors won't be too happy <laughs> that you're rescued. I guess not. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot more trouble. My father. Even he may have to fight. You won't win. No big fight with them. Shouldn't y'all just run away? Where would we go? I don't know. In front. Let me take you back to your father. Hmm? <sighs> Thank you. No much. <sighs> yeah. And now it's off. Just hogging it up. Sometimes when I eat beans, I think to myself, I could be a cowboy. I mean, never mind dysentery, TB. You know, a threat to every moment of your life just around the corner. Let's forget about all that. And just think about, you know, just eat some beans. All you gotta do. That's the romanticized cowboy. Okay, then. Someone just said, I'm your biggest fan, Vine Sauce. Okay. I have three questions. One, when is my birthday? Two, what was my major in college? Three, what game did I stream March 2017? Hang on. Waiting for the correct answers. Uh, they said yay. That's what they said. All right. I accept. Good answer. Someone else just wrote, I'm one of your biggest fans, Vinny, at 254 pounds. <laughs> I feel blessed. Hashtag, ha hashtag blessed on this truly blessed day. Get in there? Okay. 
So yeah, I'm going to a Christmas party in a little bit. And it's actually that overnight. There's room in the stable. Oh. It's already happening. But I'm in no rush. It's all yours. And, um, just going to bring Smash. Assuming someone else didn't already. Always good to have one of those. Best to have a good saddle that'll hold up. This is- I have the best saddle at the moment, right? Vinny, is it a rooftop party? It will be like one of those commercials where you bring your Switch to a normal party, everybody loves it. Karen will be there. You know, the commercial. It'll be just like the commercial, yeah. You're okay, boy. Oh no. Oh. Oh no! Oh no, not again! <laughs> oh no! I'm gonna cry! I... It was in the front! I just wanted to ride away! I have revive- I can- Oh! It did it automatically. Oh! Oh no! Oh, oh god, there's a witness. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh no. Was that your dog, mister? Out of the damn way. Nothing for you to worry about. We don't tolerate shit like you around here. Make yourself scarce. I hate, I hate what just happened so much. I can't, I can't stand. I just can't stand that that happened. Journal, uh, journal. I have a journal too, yes, but I have a, a bounty. God 
Damn it, man. The truth is, I just wanted to ride out of that barn after I got all my horse stuff. Careful! No, no. Hey, hey, Wallace. This year's the kind soul I was the kind soul the that uh, got the venom out of your leg. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I guess so. Listen, friend. I know I can never repay you, but how about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my Hey, tab. what can I do for you? Yeah. Better so outside. Told me I could grab what something on his tire. One with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for it between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, and I'll put it on his tab. <laughs> Limes, I'm not happy about what happened as much as anyone else isn't. I raided a dog murder. <laughs> Fine choice. I'll let him know. Hey, I'll take a free Bye. shotgun. I've been waiting for this to become available anyway. <sighs> it's, you know, I gotta be honest, like, the whole Arthur being sick thing is pretty fucked up, and I hate it. And there's also... the angle of, you know, there's, there's the, the people that you kill, and there's a lot of innocent people that get killed in this game. There's all kinds of horrible stuff that happens all the time in this game. But the dogs dying, whether it be accidentally or otherwise, <laughs> I, I just, I can't handle that. Especially the way it died, like it didn't just die, it went off and whimpered and then I kicked it and... Thank you for your help. That was the wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. Dogs are just too good for this world. Hey, guns. Clinger. Got my eye on you. That was the exact opposite of what I wanted to do, Sheriff. I was just trying to eat beans. I can't believe there's a dog killer in town. Leave this. You what? 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 What did I do now? Oh. You know what? I, I really just can't be near any civilization in this game, because I always do something stupid. I'm gonna pay off my bounty. And hopefully be forgiven against my crimes. For my crimes against dogmanity. Howdy, mister! Oh dear. Have you come down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? Again, no. Mister. What are you talking about? Like a fresh start. Nothing. It's just been good. Thanks for your assistance. Flu. Someone's gonna help a fella out. Somebody, please. Hello, mister. Hey, brother. Hey, friend. Hey, friend. Long time no see. Man, this is like 18 streams ago. So well, friend. You okay? No. That was a choice. I could say no or say nothing. Oh, that's too bad, buddy. They told me I was dying. Only I never did. You ever die, friend? Well, no. Of course not. Of course you didn't. But, well, we're all gonna die. I, yeah, I died once. I guess so. 
I'm sorry I always say dumb things. I'm a dumb fella. You're smart, and you're dying, and I'm dumb, and I ain't died yet, and, well, here's the thing. I never was in the army, friend. I told folk I was, but I lied. I don't know why I did. And now I feel better. But, well, here's another thing. You, well, you've always been, or you've mostly been nice to me. At least you spoke to me. And now you're dying. And I'm real sad. Real sad. Sure ain't fair. Ain't fair at all. I'll miss you, friend. You're a good man. <laughs> Hey, mister. Holy crap. You ain't looking too peachy there, partner. You stop right now. They're breaking I the law. I told you to stop. Oh, You's you going to hell. Ah. Quit pushing. Someone help me. Yeah. We'll see about this. So much. <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh... I know it's my own fault. You're a good man, mister. You ain't done nothing wrong to anybody, ever. I mean, sure, I was trying to position the guy so that he'd get kicked in the head by a horse, but... It didn't happen. So that whole redemption angle... It's, uh, kinda not a thing at the moment, is it? I mean, we were on a redemption arc for a brief time. that's my girl. I can't deal with Arthur saying all this stuff after the horrible atrocities that have been committed. Vinny, and then you killed a dog. That wasn't even my first dog death. You could probably get a dog death compilation. Actually, that's not true. You just, it would just be two. I mean, that still could be a compilation, but that's just two. You're a bad man, Mr. Morgan. So, let's see what is available anyway. Um, okay, so, Dutch. That seems like it's gonna be a pretty important mission. And the truth is, I don't actually have time to do it. Um, I thought about this for a second, and I would very much like to get to this place at a reasonable amount of time before everybody gets too drunk. Do the... what? This quest? No. Um, there's a couple... ...non-story quests. Oh yeah, Charlotte. Well, we could do that one real quick. Jonathan! Charlotte! Yeah. 
you can mix the Hort and Doggo into one pet cruelty compilation. Yeah, the problem I have with that is this game is too fucking realistic looking. That it would be that, like, really just a bad vibe video. I, I... There's a limit to how funny I think any of that stuff actually is. Um... Yeah, I don't know about that one. But, yeah, today, more than almost any recent Red Dead stream, I've been crashing this poor horse all over the place. But, I do have some nice apples to make up for it. What the fuck? What? On oh, um what? What? Some of the autosaves are extremely unhelpful for such things. It looks like that one will be okay. Sometimes it autosaves right after your horse dies. I think... I think if you die, the autosave happens. That was the worst timeline I've ever experienced in a video game. Oh, by the way, for anyone who hasn't been watching the Red Dead streams, the horse isn't supposed to just die like that. You're supposed to get an option to revive it. I've never seen a crash like that happen in this game. It was the fire, sure, but also it thrashed around a little bit. Like it snapped its neck and then landed on the fire. That was... That was like a Guar music video. Good news, everybody. The dog is alive. Okay. Mistakes into miracles, I guess. I, I was actually, like, it takes, a, it takes a lot for me to get, like, actually... Can't even speak. Um, it takes a lot for me to get emotionally invested in a game, or a thing that happens in a video game, because I play so many of them on stream and everything, I don't know. I, it's just difficult. 
I was fucking speechless when that happened. I was totally, like, devastated. I mean, yeah, I was gonna do a funny crash and see if the horse could jump onto the tent. That was the- that was the goal. I just wanted to see if I could have the horse crash... ...onto the tent. And it would be funny, we'd have a spill, and then I would just move on. But that was traumatic. Happy to assist you in a moment. It's just a prank, bro. Ready for a clean slate? Can I be of service? Thank you. You murdering your horse gave me bingo, and I don't know how to feel. I f this game leads to a lot of conflicting feelings anyway. I'd say that's pretty fucking accurate. I don't even, like, I don't even want a clip of the horse catching on fire. I don't want to see any clips. I know about the Streisand effect. I know how the internet works. No clips. All clips will be tossed. Okay, there, girl. There are currently five clips of the same moment in chat. Oh, screw that idea. Make that 25. More like... How many? 55? Yeah. Hm. Oh, going on 20? Oh, Alright. Again, I don't even know how this happened, but the past week... I'd say like, yeah, about seven or eight days, there's been... a lot of clips. Yeah, a week. Seven days. There have been a lot of clips on this channel that went nuclear, and I- I just don't understand it. I mean, I'm just... I don't- I don't- I don't get it. Uh, I don't- I don't- I don't think the horse on fire clip is gonna make any headway, to be honest. The amount of fucked up shit that you can do in this game, and the oversaturation of Red Dead, like, complete global saturation. I wouldn't be surprised if people are kind of sick of it by now. Yep. Yeah, the Wolfman fight, that was the one that... Oh, that's true, yeah, that, that got a lot of... a lot of views. Even though it's not even this reality anymore. Whoa, I mean, this one, you know, obviously... This is a bear. This is a threat to life. Wow, Arthur got really good at taking the health off of animals. Wow. Quite a bit of recoil. Oh, hey there. 
How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> At the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus, breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Yep, yeah, turn on the dead eye button. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. Oh no, that wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? Which one, ma'am? <laughs> Show off. All right, let me try again. Come on, come on. Yes! I hit it! I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> what can I say? Thank you. I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. I'm so good. I'm such a good guy. Amazing. No, 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 no. Arthur's not going to do anything. I'm telling you, this is this has got to be totally PG. TB equals PG. Just remember that. Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <clears throat> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. Good man. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself Picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <coughs> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. <coughs> Are you all right? Can I get you some water? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... 
<coughs> yeah, thank you for this. I think it's it's best if I if I make. <coughs> Stay right there. It's it's gonna be okay. It's pretty fucking far from okay, to be honest. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. She better change There's those goddamn box sheets. On the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. Not even about the money anymore. But show her. So this house has an interesting layout on the mini map. I just know I like the um yeah it's cool like the architecture of it it's just set up it's like a really nice house now let me get what I came here for all is right in the world yet again Okay, that's the stream. More Red Dead next week. Big Dutch mission up ahead. Thank God I was able to load. All right, uh, we're going to do the art. Tomorrow will be some Christmas-themed stuff. Not too much, a couple things. There's going to be some other Sunday stream-related stuff that I think will eventually... I'll find out what that will be. And also... And that's it. So... Yeah. Okay, so here's the here's the art. Yeah, BDO James will be tomorrow. From Duke of Pants, here's a BRB. This is the um the mushroom from Earthbound. Oh, yeah. God damn it. There's too much goddamn time that passes in between an hour is too damn long um, in between me playing and the, and the bingo. So I'm not going to remember some of this, but I do remember this. I remember this. Yep. Uh, maybe this. No Skyrim. Yes. 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 Probably. I don't know if I got mauled. I mean, maybe? Did I get mauled? 
chat mauled you. Okay. Um, any attempts to stop a witness? Yep. Commit a murder within five minutes? Probably not. Hmm. Yep. Wanted for a watermelon. Well, you know, I was wanted for, like, killing two, three dozen people. But we'll say it was the watermelon. I don't know if I did it. There you go. Did I do, um... Any meat or duck noises? You killed those dudes in the woods at the beginning. Okay. Meat noises, you were talking about this year's memes. Okay. Any choice of reason with the law? No, I didn't, uh, didn't have... Yep. Gained a bounty... Oh, bingo. Gained a bounty disproportionate to the crime. <laughs> Watermelon. That I, I'm not sure if that happened. You said, there you go, when you ran over a dog. There you go, lasso on the bridge. Fair enough. Then he tells an NPC to leave him alone. Maybe? Double bingo. Then he vine blinds something and chat freaks out. I don't know if I did either of those two. You triggered dead eye for the kid, but you couldn't lock on, so it hit nothing. Fine, it's a technicality, but I'll give it to you. You didn't want the Civil War guy talking to you? All right. I think this seems about right. There might be one or two that are fucked up, but I'll, I'll accept it. Okay, so for the art. And if you played along and you want to tweet your bingos to me, you know, feel free. You just go to, um, at, or just go to Vinny. What is it? At Vinny Vine Sauce. <laughs> That's my Twitter. At Vinny Vine Sauce. And, uh, that'll, that'll do what you need it to do. 